Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I have something special for you on the channel. I am going to be opening up a real live Overwatch loot drop. Overwatch contacted me and said they were sending me a special loot drop. Well, I didn't actually think they would send me a real live full on huge, you can hear it. I just, I just totally screwed up my table there. Oh no. Well, um, I just uh, cut grooves into my table and this is an actual huge metal box with uh, metal screws on the bottom that uh, just scuffed up my table. But this, this is legit like a 40 pound box. This is huge. I have no idea how they even ship this. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but listen. Actual real metal, super awesome. Before we crack her on open, I wanted to show some of the detail work. We have the Overwatch logo on this side. There is a serial code on each of the corresponding sides and the Blizzard logo as well, but that's not it. I thought this was just from Blizzard, but as it turns out, it's also from Coke Esports. You may be familiar with Coke Esports and their work with League of Legends and some of the other big esport tournaments this year. I looked at the shipping package, which is also from Coke Esports. So thank you, Coke Esports. I appreciate this package as well as I do from Blizzard. All right, guys, so it's time for the moment of truth. Time to open up this loot drop. We're gonna pop the lock on the back, gonna pop the lock on the sides, break open the front, and get this, whoop, we got stuck a little on the front here, and get this off. And that was our best attempt at having the coins drop. <laughs> All right, so first item inside the box, actually a shocker, we have a Coca-Cola bottle here with my name on it which is pretty surprising. I mean, it, it is Coke Esports, right? But I just wasn't expecting to find a soda in my loot drop. Most notably, if you can see, it actually says Drifter, but with a zero, they actually spelled my name right. Very few companies actually do that. So mad props to them and thank you, Coca-Cola. Looks like it, uh, you can uh, like untie it in the back and pop it out if you don't want to keep it on this, but this is, seems like it's designed to just hang on a wall. So that's definitely shocking right off the bat. Next item, we have the Overwatch Origins Edition video game. This is the one that includes the extra five skins of the Origin characters. Not only does it come with extra skins, but it's kind of rare for a PC game these days to even have a case, much less a collectible case. And on top of that, you get skins and characters for a bunch of other Blizzard games. Does this fold out? Nope, that side doesn't fold out. But this is the Collector's Edition of the game, which I got. Unfortunately for me, I already pre-ordered the game, which is a little bit sad, but my wife, who's a big Overwatch fangirl, has not. So I think Jessica is going to be getting all of the fancy skins, and I'll be sticking with the base version of the game. Next item, over here on the right-hand side, we have what appears to be an Overwatch collectible cup. This is the one that you would get if you went to the theatrical premiere uh, in several theaters around the country. It's got Widowmaker on it. I have a very similar cup from Coca-Cola for last year's LCS World Championships. And uh, yeah, Blizzard, Coke Esports. It doesn't look like much now, but these do actually end up being collectible in a few years. So I'll go ahead and put it down on the other side and move on. It looks like we got, is that a Hanzo shirt? Yep, that's a Hanzo shirt straight from the Blizzard store. If you go to their little like uh, merchandise store, you'll see these and I may or may not have been there more times than I should have. I think this one here is a large. And if I'm not mistaken, there is also an additional shirt that they sent just for Jessica, a small, because she really enjoys the game. Yep, here is her. That's a Genji shirt? Yeah, she, I got, we got a Hanzo shirt and a Genji, Genji shirt out of this. So free t-shirts, can't complain about that. <clears throat> I have a letter from Winston. It's actually, it's literally signed Winston. Haven't had a chance to read it yet, but it's kind of cute. It plays into the game lore and story and all that. I'll do a quick read here for you. <clears throat> it says, greetings. Our world is on the brink of a new crisis and it needs heroes. People like you have who have shown willingness to stand up and join the fight. I've been monitoring your activities with great interest and I believe that you would be the perfect addition to the Overwatch team. I've included some supplies that should be helpful to you. I hope they will aid you in your endeavors. Until we speak again, remember this. Never accept the world as it appears to be. Dare to see it for what it could be. Yours truly, Winston. And it says, Winston Watchpoint Gibraltar. So I got a little letter from Winston, which I can put down. And it looks like there are a few items left in the bottom. Uh, two of them, actually maybe three here, okay. Uh, maybe four or five, I can't tell, there's actually a lot. So we have a, I believe this is like a good guys of Overwatch poster right here. 
So this is what I believe to be a Heroes of Overwatch poster. You can see, you know, Winston, McCree, Genji, Mercy, Reinhardt, Torbjorn, Tracer, all the good guys here. And it is an official Blizzard poster. And you can see because it has a certificate of authenticity on the back, uh, certifying that it is an official Blizzard collectible, number 61 out of 100, if I'm reading those numbers correctly. So this is very, very rare. There appear and we have one more poster which has all of our soldiers. It looks like we have like a, a, a beta Soldier 76, like Soldier 76 before he was 76. Uh, Genji and Pharaoh riding like a very aggressive one. Uh, it's titled Assault. It got the artist signed on it. And it has another certificate of authenticity on the back, another really rare collectible, which is, again, pretty dope in my opinion. But what may be even more fun is the enormous box that they shipped it with. This is the huge box that it came in. And not only did it come with an Overwatch loot drop on top, but when you open up the box, there's a doggo inside. What's up, buddy? You having a good time? Hmm? You being a good boy? You're dumb. Good doggy. Let's get you out of here, huh? Duck. Whoops. <laughs> Let's try again. Did you all stuck together? Now you're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we tried really hard to get the uh, coin drop animation. We actually used our uh, Perca Colas from our Black Ops 3 Legendary Edition. All right, so this is the huge box that it came in, and when I opened it up, there was a surprise inside the box with all the packing peanuts. It's a dome. <laughs> <laughs>